Hey folks, this is Mary. Welcome back to my channel. So, um, I have recently placed a couple of orders with Pure Pens, who is also known in the UK as Niche Pens. So, my first package only had one ink in it, which is this guy. And my second package, I have just opened it. It's It's been sitting for a while, I have to admit. I, I tend to let my packages sit for much too long. But um, I thought I had a couple of inks in this one too. And I just opened the package and there are many more inks in this package than I remember. So let's just look at these inks. Okay, so what do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven in that package and one from our previous package, which makes eight. So I will do all eight of these inks for you today, first watching Sunday. And the first package that had the one ink in it also had a pen in it. And I do plan to show you that pen soon, but not today. You know, I've, I've got my camera not that you guys need to know this, but I have my camera attached to a different table. I'm working on this table, and I've got my camera on a different table, but when I move my coffee cup, <laughs> it makes the camera move. So that tells me I should not put my coffee cup on that table where the camera is. But let me see if I can show you my cup here. I might have shown you this cup before. I can't remember. But it says, can you see that? Grateful Meadows. It is a, I believe it's a farm animal sanctuary, or maybe any kind of animal sanctuary, that's actually near where my mom lives, um, in West Point, Virginia. And um, I, I know where it is. I've driven by the place on my way to my mom's house, but I've never actually been there. And you can stay there. You know, they have guest rooms, which is pretty cool. But I thought at one point they were going to let you come and stay and bring your pets, but I guess that's not working out quite yet with the other animals that they have there, so. I was hoping to go with Gus sometime, but he can't go with me, so we will have to put that off until another time. So, oh, also, I wanted to show you this that was in the package. No act of kindness, no matter how small, is ever wasted. And I thought that was very nice. And this is a crisis number that you can call in the UK. Of course, uh, Pure Pens, Niche Pens is in Wales in the United Kingdom. So this is their um, number in the United Kingdom. And we do have crisis hotlines in America, but of course the numbers are different because we have different phone systems. But anyway, I just thought that was very nice of them to include. Um, they do say that they support the Samaritans. The, the group that you call is called the Samaritans and they have donated to the Samaritans to support them. So I thought that was nice. I am sorry, my finger is itching like crazy. Like I've gotten something on it. I might have to go wash my hands. In fact, let me do just that. Hold on one moment. Okay, I'm back. I think I might have a little cut on my hand. You know how sometimes you get a little paper cut or something and it stings, so. Anyway, I, uh, I get the cooties at work all the time and I have to go wash. Because the stuff that we handle is pretty dirty. And usually a hand wash and some lotion just fixes me right up. I didn't want to put any lotion on right now because I'm getting ready to handle my swatch cards. So anyway, let us have a look at our inks. Oh, and I have something else to show you. Hold on one second. Well, in my haste to get up, I knocked over my water. Someone filled the cup too full. Thankfully, as fountain pen users, we usually have paper towels nearby, so crisis not averted, but crisis um, cleaned up. So, I am never going to get through this video, I swear. Okay, so I have been debating and debating about getting a bottle of writer's blood. Getting a bottle, getting a sample, getting a big bottle, I don't know. I've been intrigued by it, and then some of the swatches I saw online, I didn't really like it, so I wasn't sure. So I thought, hey, P 
Pure Pens has great prices on Diamine Ink, so I will get some in my order. However, as I was waiting for my Pure, Pen, Pure Pens order to arrive, I was going through my ink cabinet and look what I found. Oopsie, <laughs> somebody already bought some. Who did that? Well, it was me. So I don't remember where this other bottle came from, but I now have two bottles of writer's blood that I haven't even tried yet. So we will be swatching that for the first time today. And also Pure Pens, they have their own line of inks. That's what these bottles are. But they have recently come out with some more private line inks made by Diamine. And that is these guys. And I just got an email from Pure Pens a day or two ago saying that they have yet another new ink in their their private line, in this line of ink. Pure Pens, I love you. Stop making ink. <laughs> Every time you make ink, I have to buy it, so please stop making it. And this new ink looks very much like Milky Ocean, Troublemaker Milky Ocean, oh, which just runs in my veins. I love it so much. So of course I'm gonna to have to get some of this new ink and compare it to Milky Ocean, but that's a discussion for another day. So these new inks are Westgate Hotel, John Frost, and, um, is that the six points of the People's Charter? Or maybe it's just called People's Charter. I'll have to look that one up. Oh, wait, is it on my invoice? my inbox. Let me see. People's Charter. Yes. Oh, and in case I forgot to mention, in my last video, I had the ceiling fan running and it was making weird swirlies on the, the screen. So I turned the ceiling fan off, but I have another fan on in the background. So hopefully it's not too disturbing for everyone. Okay. So, for my Pure Pens inks that I got, this is Welsh Gold, which is a black ink with gold shimmer in it. Now, I'm not a huge shimmer fan, but I am just fascinated by this ink, so I really wanted to try it. And the other one that I got is this Pendine Sands, or Pondine Sands. It, it is just so beautiful. I love it. I, I tried the sample of it, and I love it, so I knew I wanted to get a bottle of it. And for another couple of random inks that I threw in my cart, I got Dye Mine Misty Blue because, you know, I just can't have enough blue inks. And on that note, I also got this little bottle of Urban Bleu Nuit because I have not tried this one yet. And these little bottles are so cute. All right, let's get a swatching. So I have some freshly made cards and some Q-tips and Let's see. I guess I'll just move these guys over here. And let's start with Writer's Blood. The big, exciting new ink from Diamine. Oh, speaking of exciting inks from Diamine, I heard that they're coming out with an ink vent calendar. And somebody sent me a message and said that they were available for pre-order on Pure Pens. And I didn't go to the site right away, and they're sold out. I won't despair though because they the calendars don't officially go on sale until October, I think. So I thought about getting one last time and I didn't. So I think I'm gonna get one this time, but I'm gonna have to figure out how to get my hands on one because I think everybody else is gonna want one too. All right, this is Diamine. Writers. Blood. And it is coming off the glass nib very wetly. Okay. My table is a jiggling. Hopefully I can stabilize it a little bit so we don't jiggle too much. Alright. Ooh. Ooh. I gave that Q-tip a good dunk. It's looking very brown, and it seems a little dry. 
See, this was the thing that I, I couldn't figure out. I didn't know if this was going to be a dark red ink or a brownish ink. Some of the swatches I saw online of it, it looked kind of purple. And we are not getting much of a drip. Oh, it's trying. It's trying to drip. Well, it's thinking about it. <laughs> well. I might set him up somewhere so he can decide if he wants to drip or not. So I have heard this compared to Oxblood, which I do have a bottle of and I do like. So we might have to compare those later and see how they look. All right, next up is one of their new Private Line inks. And I think these are available in larger bottles as well. This, um, their original line of ink is only available in these 60 milliliter bottles, but I think these new ones are available in these small bottles and large bottles too. I'll have to check on that. Let's see. Oh my, I, uh, I dunked that nib a little bit too well. <laughs> Maybe I could scrape it off a little bit. Goodness gracious. Okay, I think the bottle is very full. So this is Pure Pens, uh, People's Charter. Interesting, interesting. And I was reading on the website about these inks, but I don't remember what the historical significance of them is. They're, oh, oh I keep bumping the table, excuse me. They're commemorating something and I can't remember what they're commemorating. Oh wow, this one is very brown, very reddish brown, but much browner than writer's blood. And let's see if we get a drip. Yep, we got a big old drip there. Hmm, that's very pretty. Okay. So we are setting him aside. We are finding a place to set him aside. And Gus is looking at me like I have some food, which I don't. <laughs> Just my coffee. Okay, next up is John Frost. All right, this is Pure Pens. John. That's a very pretty green. Ooh, I would say that's more like a teal. Hmm, very pretty. A greenish, greenish teal. And again, we got a nice big drip on that one. My goodness. I definitely detect some sheen on those letters. So he's probably going to give us some nice sheen. All right, and then we have Westgate Hotel. And this one is looking blue. Hmm. 
That's very nice. I think Gus is trying to tell me that he's hungry, but he's really not. No. He just knows I have some food. No, I don't have any food. Not right now. I don't think fountain pen ink is toxic. I certainly hope not. I don't exactly know what's in it. Ooh. Oh, that is a bright and beautiful blue. Very nice. Yep, got another big drip on that one. So these are definitely some flowy diamine inks. Which was interesting because the writer's blood just seemed really kind of dry. Ooh, and I can already see some sheen popping out on there. Ooh, yep, that's going to be a sheener. Okay. Who do we want to do next? Well, let's stick with our pure pens inks. I need to uh, shake up our shimmer ink a little bit here. I think, I think their private line inks are made by Diamine. I could be wrong, but I think it said on the website that they were made by Diamine. And Diamine, that is one busy company. They are cranking out inks like nobody's business because they make all of these um, special inks for, you know, different companies and different shops. And then they had the ink vent calendar, which was 25 different inks. And now they're coming out with another ink vent calendar. Woo. Well, let's look at the cap. That's looking very Welsh goldy. Oh, yes, by the way, this is Welsh gold. So hopefully I've shaken it up well enough that we will get some shimmer, shimmer, shimmer. And this is Pure Pins Welsh Gold. Hmm. I have very few black inks in my collection. I think I might have, did I mention that last time? Maybe. I can't remember. But even though this, this is a shimmer ink, it, you know, I would consider this one of my black inks. And I think I might have four or five at this point, maybe. Ooh, can you see the shimmer on there? It's a sparkly. Very interesting. Now, I don't know if this has any sheen. I just know about the shimmer. But it is definitely shimmery. And kind of runny. Ooh. <laughs> it's really fun to play with. Oh my goodness. I can see all the glittery bits flowing around in the drip. Can you guys see that? It's like a lava lamp. Yeah, you can kind of see those glittery bits. They're flowing uphill. That is crazy. Okay, so we're gonna let him dry. And, and his other fellow, Pendine Sands. I've swatched this one before, but I don't care. I'm gonna swatch it again. Cause that's how much fun swatching inks is. Ooh. His uh, lip is a little crusty there. There's something about orange and brown inks. They tend to get a little crusty. Something about the pigments. They just get a little crusty. And sometimes they can get a little crusty on your nib. But um, it's not bad. It's just what they do. Yeah, the first time I put ancient copper in a pen, it it kind of like crusted up on the nib. Oh, oops, I should stop writing and talking at the same time. 
<laughs> Let me get this written down. Pure pens. And this is, I'm not sure if it's Pending Sands or Ponding Sands. For some reason I want to say Ponding. But yeah, my ancient copper crusted up on the nib and I thought the nib had rusted, it was broken, it was ruined, the ink had gone bad. You know, I'm always at DEF CON 1. Let's see. I wasn't sure I was gonna like this at first because I thought it was kind of yellow and yellow inks are just hard to use and hard to see and just challenging, but this is much more like, um, I mean, it's definitely orange, but it's much more along the lines of Apache Sunset or Habanero. It's that yellowy color with all of those red and orange undertones, and I just think it is so beautiful. All right, so who do we have left here? And I think these bottles are really cute too. They're they're different. They're I I I would give the uh, pardon me, I'm tongue tied. I would venture to say that these are a unique shape. I've never seen another bottle like these. Not of course that I've seen every ink bottle in the world. But I like them. Okay. Next up we have a diamine ink from Diamine, and this is Misty Blue. And I saw this on somebody's site, on somebody's YouTube channel. I can't remember whose it was, but I said, hey, it's a diamine blue I haven't seen before. I have to get some. So I did. I don't care if I have 500 blue inks. I always need more blue inks. So this is diamine. Misty Blue. Oh, oh, I think I just, I just remembered who it is. Um, and now I can't think of her name. Shoot. It's something like Pretty Pens. Ferocious and Pretty Pens, I think. I think that's it. She, uh, she recently started a YouTube channel and she also has an Instagram account. I just cannot, uh-oh, well, you see that little piece of fuzz on the Q-tip? That piece of fuzz had a drip on it, and now it has dripped on my card. Alas, but life moves on. Anyway, I think I saw it on Ferocious and Pretty Pen's YouTube channel. I won't swear to it, but I think that's where I saw it. Gosh, this one is feeling drier too. My goodness, it it doesn't want to come off the Q-tip. Goodness gracious. It's so weird, just the way that the inks feel between the Q-tip and the card. Sometimes they just, the Q-tip just glides over the card. And this is watercolor paper, so it's, it's fairly textured. But sometimes the Q-tip just glides over it and the ink just slides off. And then like this, I'm, I'm scrubbing it on the paper, trying to get it off. I mean, you can see the little white areas. It just does not want to go onto the paper. And then of course our drip is just a blob. It does have some lovely shading though. That is very pretty. Okay, so we're gonna set him aside to dry as well. And last but not least, we have an Airbon ink. I've recently gotten several of these little bottles, but um, I haven't used any of them yet. I haven't even swatched them yet. My goodness, I'm falling behind on my swatching. So this will be the first one. Cute little bottle. So this is Airbon Blue Nui. Alrighty.
Yeah, see, this is just pouring off of the Q-tip. So much wetter. That means we're pro probably going to get a big old drip. And we did. <laughs> it is just running all over the place. Alrighty. So I'm going to let these dry. And I will be back in just a minute. Okay, I've only hit the camera about three times since uh, since I left you. So hopefully everything is still in focus and in frame and all that stuff. Ooh, let me get these out of the way. All right. So who did we have first? I think this was first. This is the Pure Pens People's Charter. And this has some crazy sheen on it. I do like the color though. It's it's a nice rich reddish brown with lots of green sheen. I'm just looking at the writing. Maybe some shading in there. But that's very pretty. I like that a lot. I, I do like my reds on the darker side. And I find the green sheen very interesting. And then next up, we have the Pure Pens John Frost. And this was kind of a tealy green ink. And this one has crazy sheen too, but in this case, it's bright pink. My goodness. This is some very interesting looking ink. I mean, I can see sheen in here too. I think that's showing up on the camera. I mean, this is just sheening all over the place. Good heavens. Let's see, can we see some on the writing? Yeah, yeah, look at the F. That's definitely got some pink going on there. So if you're into heavy sheening inks, this one might be a good one for you. The, the sheen on this one seemed much more subtle, but this one has lots of sheen. And I do like the color. It's a very nice green. But sometimes with those heavy sheeners, the sheen just kinda takes over the color, which I'm not too much of a fan of. I, I like my ink color to be the ink color, you know? Okay. Next up, we have the Pure Pens Westgate Hotel, a lovely blue, again with Lotto Sheen. This has some bright pink sheen. And again, I'm seeing sheen just on the, on the swatch in here. So, for, for an ink to sheen on watercolor paper just from a Q-tip, I mean, of course, the drip is going to show a lot of sheen because the ink is so thickly applied, but just the little swatching, the, the swatchies, <laughs> just on the swatchies, there's sheen. Let's look at the letters. Are they sheeny? Yeah, look at the P. There's a lot of sheen on there. So this one, oof, I don't know, this one might give uh, nitrogen a run for its money. But it is a lovely blue. Alrighty. And <clears throat> next up we have Writer's Blood. One of my two bottles now that I have. So this one is definitely a red but more of a burgundy red and it does have a little bit of sheen but I would not count on this having sheen in the writing not like the first three inks that we looked at might have a little bit of shading going on there but yeah just comparing these two colors this one see when I when I swatched the writer's blood it was looking very brown but now it's it's looking more more red, more burgundy. And I would say the People's Charter has more of a brown cast to it. But goodness, if I had to pick, I don't know. I really like this People's Charter. That's a very nice color. I'd have to write with it some more and see how much it sheened to see if that kind of got on my nerves. But they are similar colors and they do have a similar color to the sheen, although of course this one has so much more sheen. The writer's blood just has a little touch of sheen, but they're both that greenish sheen. All right. 
And then we have the Welsh Gold. This is the black with the um, gold shimmer. And let's see, you can see the shimmer sparkling all in there. That is so pretty. It's like the night sky. And now in here, I'm wondering, is that, is that sheen? That can't possibly be all shimmer. I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking there might be some sheening going on there, as well as the shimmer. It's hard to tell, but it's definitely very sparkly. Sparkly, sparkly. Oh, and I have to show you. <laughs> I have to show you my, my cleaning water. It is a very interesting dark teal with lots of glitter floating on the top of it. <laughs> I just thought that was hilarious. It's a nice color though. I mean, look at look at that greenish blue color. Very pretty. So, you know, maybe I'll just throw some of all of these inks into a, a jar and see what we get. No, no, I won't do that. <laughs> I'm much too big of a chicken for that. Although, most of these inks are made by Diamine. I'm, I'm very nervous about mixing different brands of inks together. But except for the, the Urban ink, they're all made by Diamine. So, you know, it's a possibility. Okay. <clears throat> Next up, we have the Pondine Sands or Pendine Sands. And that is just, it is just a gorgeous golden yellow, orange. I don't know. So beautiful. Let's see. And it just has lovely shading. So pretty. Again, kind of reminds me of Habanero. It's it's a bit darker than Apache Sunset, but it also makes me think about, um, why does it make me think about KWZ Grapefruit? They're not the same color at all, but maybe just the, the shading of it makes me think about Grapefruit. Okay. For our final Diamine ink, we have the Misty Blue. Now it looks like Dianine or Diarine because <laughs> of the blob from the Q-tip. But yeah, it, it did seem very dry. Again, you can see the, the card showing through because the ink didn't saturate the paper. And it does have a little hint of sheen on there. If I can show it, it doesn't want to show itself. You could see it, a hint of it, a little bit of red sheen on there. But again, I would not say that this is a big sheener. I would say it's much more of a shader. But it is a very nice color. Because, you know, I've hardly found a blue that I don't like. And last but not least, we uh, we we have Urban. <laughs> Dropping my H's there. We have Urban Blue Nuit. And this was the drip that I made, but it, it spread out over the card until it nearly completely covered the card, which I thought was very interesting. And around the edges of the darker area, I see some hints of purple. Hmm, I don't know if that's gonna show on camera. Would I call that sheen? I don't know. But the edges of the drip are definitely purple. Interesting, but these these urban colors are known for being very reliable and very safe, and also very pretty. It's a very pretty blue. Alrighty, well that will do it for today's edition of Swatching Sundays. I hope you enjoyed, and um, yeah, watch out for pure pens. They they keep putting out those new inks, and I am so tempted. So I hope you enjoyed and I hope you have a good week and I will see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.